Undertale by Toby Fox. For the finale of Aftertale, we get the other half of the last cover art. As the story's characters stare at the start of the end of their story, Frisk is about to go ahead and reset the timeline. Gino Sands says that he completely does not trust Frisk, saying he does not agree with this. Frisk lets Gino be aware that Frisk understands why he doesn't trust them, but to give them this one chance. The reset button is clicked. Frisk, Sans, and Papyrus are sent back into the world with a snap. Aftertale begins for the final time, as Frisk begins going through Undertale's story for the final time, as Gino watches. Hope is an interesting thing. Hope can be painful, and people will give up on hope and accept despair. Despair is a comfortable misery. You can't be let down when expecting the worst. A lack of hope is safe after all, but hope has a way of creeping up on you and eventually you start wanting to believe in hope once more. Gaster just had to appear once more. Gaster continues to stress an already dying Sans to death, reminding him that he is running out of time and telling Sans how his plan failed and that he is supporting his murderer. Everything he was staying alive for was for nothing. That he should just die already. There is no point in waiting any longer. But after seeing Frisk continue the ending of their journey, Gino Sands finally goes full throttle on the human's plan to save him. Gino Sands will root for the human as Gino Sands removes the glitches that he was hiding behind this entire time and finally fighting back against Gaster's suggestions and words. Gaster states that he was just trying to help him, but Gino knows that this must be untrue, since Gaster has been trying to make Gino come to the void with him. But Gino understands how being alone for so long can make someone crazy. He almost went crazy himself. Gaster finally gives up on getting Gino to join him in the void. Gaster saying that others will accept his proposals and others will take the easy way out in the void and Gaster finally makes his exit. And the crew returns for Gino and Papyrus doesn't seem to like Gino's new haircut. But Papyrus quickly changes the subject back to saving Gino. Gino doesn't believe that he could survive outside of the save screen, but the human has an ace up their sleeve, a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Since Gino was dying as he came into the save screen, Frisk has the idea for Gino to heal right when he exits the save screen. For a full heal on the HP he could heal up to, Gino isn't very fond of this idea since it seems to be just too simple. Gino learns that Papyrus was the one to think of this plan. With the help of Frisk, Gino Sans says that even if this plan doesn't work, he will be grateful for how much they have tried to save him. And they all proceed to go through the screen. During the transition into the world, Gino uses the pie, and Gino has survived. Feeling the sun on his bones and a hug from Papyrus, Undyne runs from down the mountain and sees Gino Sands. 
and she has an understandable reaction, yelling at both Sansas. Papyrus introduces Gino to the group, and Alphys is shocked by the implications of such proof of other versions of monsters. Everyone begins down the mountain to go watch a movie, and Gino looks out at the sunset, ready for his new life on the surface. Because there is always tomorrow. I really hope you enjoyed this ending of Aftertale and my narration and explaining of the story of Aftertale. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this Pass the Ox, but only for Undertale fan creations and music, of course. This will be me signing out. Fallen Down by Sen Beats. Grab your freedom now, melt the chains of bay. Feel the light of day. Hear their voices say we will find our way together. We'll get by, strong side by side.